Good morning. It is currently 5.10 a.m. and we're gonna get the day started. <laughs> I did is about 9 10 in the morning I'm running a little bit behind honestly because I was getting some shots so uh, it is something that I like to be starting breakfast around 8 30 so I'm about 30 minutes behind this morning but I went ahead and I got in my yoga and my stretching and my gratefulness list and those are two non-negotiables for the day you saw me get my Nespresso which Costa Rica is the bomb dig and then also I got a text from a friend this week they're coming back out with their coconut iced coffee that one is a banger as well i'm a huge nespresso fan got my water then went ahead and got to work with some check-ins getting back to slack messages and monday setting up my to-do list for the day and getting rolling with that then i spent some time with the dogs and alex and playing around with their toys because tucker is always ready to play then went ahead and washed my face did my skincare routine brushed flossed all those good things as well as being able to get ready for cardio getting my morning weigh in all that jazz doing my stomach vacuums then went ahead and did my cardio always watching some pat mcafee show or a makeup channel um, which ali glines is someone that i follow and very much so she's very peaceful it's very soothing watching so i'm gonna go get breakfast so i'm not more behind because i'm quite hungry let's get into it all right, so breakfast is uh, you know the same as the last video. It is what it is. But I have egg whites and a full egg, and I like them omelet style, so just you know fold it over. And then we have just quick minute oats. It is oats and water. But I will say I had sea salt, vanilla extract, some cinnamon um, because they are just more bland as far as the oats go. And I have blueberries, strawberries, and then some Chobani yogurt in here. Chobani complete. Pro tip. It's lactose free, so it's not completely dairy free, but I find lactose is the big thing that really doesn't sit well with me. So the Chobani Complete is a lifesaver because I love yogurt and it has the same consistency as Greek yogurt because I really hate very thin yogurt. Then I also had two pieces of bacon, but I eat it as I'm cooking because I just love doing that. And pro tip for bacon, if you really want macros for like turkey bacon, but you're not the hugest turkey bacon fan, which I'm right there with you, and unless it's the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich from Starbucks, center cut bacon has like the same macros as turkey bacon, but it tastes like bacon, it's delicious. This breakfast works for me because it is 
all whole foods for the most part, other than the Chobani, if you don't wanna consider that a whole food. And it is satiating, it sits well in my stomach, and it's the best bang for my buck as far as volume without being too voluminous that it puts me in a digestive distress situation. So that's what it is. Let's see if I hit work one. Always put the dishes away right after you eat. It'll make you feel better. What else do you got for us today? Check-ins and then um, uh, sales calls for the most part. I have a late sales call today just because the person, uh, just because her schedule, I mean, she's a nurse and it was crazy. Yeah, 7 p.m. Yeah, she's a competitor and a nurse. So it's like, dude, I, I mean, I'll work around your schedule. So that was the circumstance <laughs> at hand for her. Gotcha. Are you gonna eat now? If you want to. Yeah. I was gonna eat, I was gonna see what the weather was because if it was clear right now, I was gonna try and take guts for a W. I'm going to eat, get after check-ins for a little bit, train, and then um, finish up some of your meal prep and cool. yeah. Thanks for doing that. Do you want anything with that beef? Because I just made it the beef and rice because that's what we used to eat. Yeah. But do you want something with it? I mean, you do your thing, girl. You're the chef. I ain't no chef. I know, but that's why I'm telling you those brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. If you toast it just a little, and then you put peanut butter on it, and then it starts melting off the side. Mm mm mm. <laughs> How would brown sugar cinnamon? It's not. It's not that it's not, not good. good. I'm more so just saying that it's ridiculous. It's like you're looking at uh, the pop tarts are what 16 grams of fat. Together, 14. 14. 14. The peanut butter, I'm definitely putting 32 grams on both of those. Okay. So we're looking at what, 30 grams of fat? I don't have the I don't have the finances within my macros to just give 30 grams of fat to this little snack Not that I have. Everything I speak is due to <laughs> what's gonna fit macros fast. Guys, what's listen, the this best. is everything is just a it, it's an exchange, and I'm very serious about tracking my macros. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Whoa, we have got the next meal here. So this is something that I have literally eaten this exact meal for two or three years. I love it. And it is, I know some people aren't a fan, but ground 99% lean turkey. It is my favorite. I love it. Seasoned with Lowry seasoned salt because everything's seasoned with Lowry seasoned salt and turmeric and then black pepper. And then there's jasmine rice and then spinach cut up very small. There's a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on this. And then you know, I got to top it with some Tabasco. This goes straight to the veins. Um, and then tortilla chips. I am a hoe for tortilla chips, just point blank. I always have them. We go through bags and bags of tortilla chips. So these are brand late July. Really like them. They're thin, but sturdy. I love them. And then again, it's been like three years since I've gone a day without this plain rice cake with peanut butter on it. And if you want to know how to make peanut butter, check my Instagram. There's a reel on there for that. Uh, raspberries, cinnamon, and sea salt. And then again, so predictable of vitamin water. These are incredible. 
They're my favorite vitamin water. Sponsor me already. I've gotten everyone on you. And then for Alex, he has some 92% um, ground beef, jasmine rice, and then some guacamole. It's also really good with avocado if you don't have guacamole. And then there's coconut oil, which coconut oil is the key. And this tastes best topped with ketchup and or Frank's Red Hot, both of them in there, delicious. And then Alex is predictable with his vitamin zero, vitamin zero, Gatorade zero. Uh, so we are creatures of habit, but I will say one thing within meals, that if you're having a hard time eating the same meals again and again, changing the sauce that you put on it or changing the protein source can do everything. Because before this meal was, uh, you'll see it in the meal prep video, it was ground turkey with zucchini and he would have it with Tabasco or honey mustard. Again, he would switch between it based on how he was feeling. So that's a great thing. We just switched that out for beef and then added some guac on there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He has a completely different flavor profile while still keeping like the core of the meal, the same theme. So that's really how we go about things. But I'm going to eat this. Miguel and I have to meet on a few things, get through some check-ins, and then we'll get yoked. All right, so lots have happened today already. And it's funny because when I looked at my calendar this morning, it was probably like the emptiest of day as far as things that were scheduled specifically in the calendar. But oftentimes those can feel like the busiest days just because there's a lot of computer and desk work. And I'm very glad that we are doing the day in the life today instead of doing scheduled filming. Because oftentimes on Tuesdays when we have the podcast, basically I have to get all of my work done before the podcast and there's very few pockets that I can fit work in outside of the podcast because we normally finish the podcast eat and then we normally start filming about an hour after the podcast so eating getting changed getting everything set up Miguel behind the camera making sure everything looks as good as it always does getting all that rolling doesn't leave as much time for doing computer work and so it is something that getting to my computer early on Tuesdays is huge but today I'm very excited because yesterday I ran around the whole day. I was gone from like 2 p.m. to like 8 p.m. Uh, running around doing stuff and I had a few other crazy things go on. And so basically once I stepped away from my computer at like 10 a.m. because we had a meeting at 10 a.m. I wasn't back at my computer other than when I was out running errands and I stopped at a Starbucks for like 45 minutes to get as much work done as I could. So today's working out very nicely for myself. Currently going through client check-ins. I have a few client videos pulled up here. I have some client posing to get through and I'm gonna train here in the next hour. Um, and be able to get that wrapped up. So just getting a lot of a check-in stuff done and you know, I'm two weeks out, actually less than two weeks out, about a week and a half out tomorrow from my first show of the season, which is crazy how we got here. So I ordered all of my stuff and scheduled all of my stuff last week or a week and a half ago. And I need to find my hair extensions today. And my suit I think shipped yesterday. So we'll definitely be doing a suit reveal, but I am getting very, very excited. I literally just can't believe it's here at all. <laughs> It's like a whirlwind that I'm getting back up there. I feel like, I was telling Alex the other day, I feel like the old person getting on stage, I by no means think that I am old whatsoever. I'm not someone who's like, oh, once you pass your 20s, you're old. I feel like a young buck, but from the place that I was in in my life when I first started competing to now, I feel like I have gone through about 20 years of life. So I'm kind of like, whew, we're back to doing that thing again, as I did as a 20 year old. I think I turned 21 the day of my first show actually. So it'll be fun and I'm very excited. Yeah, that's about it. 
Mixing up my pre-workout. It is 4 p.m. right now. Again, a little bit behind schedule. That's how life goes. We have some Mike's Mix in there. This comes in like a huge bag from Amazon. It lasts you for forever. We put it in, you know, a cute container, so it's cute. But it is literally dextrose as carbs. And if you're in a dieting phase and you are thinking, I don't wanna waste my carbs on a shake and that's not gonna be fulfilling, I get it. I feel you through and through. But I can say that I've had had intra almost every single workout of this prep, except for the meals that I've just eaten too close kind of thing, or the days that I have plenty of food to facilitate the training. And it has changed my training performance. And I really feel like it's helped manage my fatigue of being able to get through those sessions. So highly, highly encourage intra carbs, especially in a dieting phase, even that's when you think you might want them the least. Then I have creatine recharge. This is the old packaging. This is what the new packaging would look like, but you know we don't want to be wasteful just because the packaging isn't right so there's still some good product left in here so recharge is their creatine based product and when we're looking at creatine it is the most researched supplement i think like on the market so it is also the most generous supplement so when we look at energy production you have atp adrenosine triphosphate when you are utilizing energy you lose a phosphate then creatine's like, hey, take one from me, turns it from a DP diphosphate back to triphosphate, and then it helps you have more energy. Now, research shows you should have a post-workout, but research also shows you should be consistent with it, and that's number one. So I normally have it intra-workout because first it adds flavoring to Mike's Mix because it's unflavored, and a second, I know that I won't forget to have it, whereas post-workout, things can get crazy. So I go off of the consistency. And then since this is more metabolic work, we're gonna get a pump. We got some Pump 2 in there, which this is just Hydromax. Um, so this is great pump product. Um, and then I'm gonna take Morpho Pump. You know, just really trying to get swole here. Uh, Morphogen Nutrition is definitely another company that we recommend. So Legion, as you know, is something that I'm very passionate about. Morphogen Nutrition and New Ethics are other top products that I use. And then um, we also have some Raw and Revive products around. And then some salt because sodium is your friend always. I grew up knowing that and I still be knowing that. And for the people who asked where I got this electric salt shaker from last day in the life, is from Amazon. I will have a video going over the kitchen appliances slash things that as someone who is in the kitchen a lot, the things that I love, and this is one of them, highly, highly recommend an electric salt shaker, but I'll talk about it more in the other video. Let's go train. Looks a little messy here, but that's how things get and then clean it up afterwards. So I am finishing up with some meal prep here and getting together Alex's meals. So I used to meal prep all in one day and then ended up taking quite a long time to make two people's meals for the whole entire week, everything measured out, and especially with them being in prep, how everything has to be very particular for myself. And so it was really taxing me and I would get to the day and I would dread it all the time. So now I spread it out over a few days and it is more relaxing. I know a lot of times the point of meal prep is not to cook as much, but I don't mind if it's the last little bit of the night or it's on like a weekend and I get to take my time with it instead of trying to like rush throughout the day or feel like I'm just standing in the kitchen all day. So I made the beef the other day, I made the rice the other day, and then I just sauteed the zucchini and I had 
to wait for some chicken to thaw to go ahead and put it in these meals that were already set. So these will be added to Alex's meals. These are ones that are good in the fridge for a few more days. The rest of them will be vacuum sealed. So I'm just gonna finish up these meals and then call it a night as far as work to spend some time with Alex, with the dogs being able to unwind so that we can get up and get back at it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just gonna finish up this meal prep and then go to bed here soonish. It's light outside, so it feels weird to say, but it'll be dark by the time I go to bed. <laughs> Bye guys.